Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. I'm going to create a new playlist called Digital SAT Mathematics. As everyone knows, SAT has changed its new format starting from 2023. So I'm gonna upload and I'm gonna create each and every video of SAT, especially the digital format questions and I'm going to explain how to solve all these problems. So for today, let's get started by reading that question. So this problem said, what is that y in the set of the graph of 3x plus 2y is equal to 96 in the x1 plane? So when we look at the options, all the options start with 0, comma, something, 0, comma, something, 0, comma, something, and 0, comma, something. The question asks for the y in the set of the graph. There is an equation given, so how do we solve it? We can solve it in numerous ways, but the easiest way is we can start by writing down the given equation. 3x plus 2y is equal to 96. And then we can substitute 0 in place of x. Because all the answer choices start with 0. So we can put the 0 here. And let's see what we cut in, in the place of y. So 3 into 0 plus 2y is equal to 96. So the result is 0 plus 2y is equal to 96. And y is equal to 96 divided by 2. And we got y is equal to 48. So this is going to be the answer choice t. So this is the easiest way to solve this problem, and it's time-saving. There are other ways to solve this problem, such as by using the linear equation. y is equal to mx plus b. We can change the original equation into linear equation. So the linear equation said, y is equal to mx plus b, where m is slope, p is y in the set. So, all we have to do is to transform this original equation into this form. How do we do that? We can first write it down, 3x plus 2y is equal to 96. And then, we will move 3x to the other side of the equation. So 2y is equal to 96 minus ninety-six minus 3x. We can change a little bit. 2y is equal to negative 3x plus 96. So this is just changing the form. And then we don't want 2 here. We want only y. So we can put 2 to the other side. Resulting y is equal to negative 3 over 2x plus 96 over 2. Final result is y is equal to negative 3 over 2x plus 40 
48. 48 means it is P, which is the y-intercept of the graph. So we can also get the value of y-intercept by solving in this way. That is all for this video. Thank you for watching. Stay tuned for more videos.